开始。Hi, welcome, welcome to Easy for Chinese.、Um, we are going to introduce our final project. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Ben. Our project name is called Hofton Image.、Uh, this is a very strange terminology. If you don't know Hofton,、uh, as you can you can pull out a newspaper or magazines. The image a newspaper and magazines are usually print out in with with small dots, black and white dots. It's not a consistent paper. And this kind of image, which is made by small black and white dots, are called Hoftonic image. Basically, our app will implement a real-time Hoftonic、uh, by a, by a code by a series code、uh, involved in C and、uh, Java code. So, as you can see, here is the welcome page of the whole app. And Joy will introduce more about that.、Um, so, the advantage of taking using the Hoftonic is that so. In many conditions, we can only represent the pixel by several, like one bit, and then we can. So now each pixel is can only be represented by black or white. So halftoning can help us to make this goal. And、uh, so in terms of this app, we have an introduction page to tell people what is halftoning. The first button will link to a general introduction、uh, and tell people、uh, how. Uh, what this Hoftone is? So it has a simple image you can look into here, and then、uh, now in terms of the two algorithms that I can implement the Hoftones, I also included two introduction page. One is one method is called Dissolving Matrix, and here is the introduction for the whole algorithm, and here is a sample image, and then the second method is called Error Diffusion. The error diffusion it's shown in here. This is a simple algorithm block block diagram.、Uh, this this is our text view of the whole project. Then we can see the real time image implementation right now. So I'll show the applications we did.、Um, for the error diffusion. Yeah, so this is our app application for error diffusion.、Um, so basically, we implement the halftoning on the RGB channel,、um, which is slightly different from the original、uh, halftoning, which is implemented on the grayscale. So you can say you can see that there are a lot of small bubbles here. That's the that's the effect of、um, using error diffusion, and the process image、uh, looks pretty partially similar to our original image. And for the dithering matrix,、uh, we can choose the dithering matrix size. So here we choose two by two dithering matrix, and you can see that there are a lot of contouring effect. So the edge is still obvious and it's not that clear. So what we do is we like in, we enlarge the dithering matrix, and we use three by three dithering matrix. Wait a minute. Yeah, here. Um, we can see that the effect is much better now because、uh, the dithering the matrix is larger and they have more thresholds, so which means that we'll have more gray levels. And also four by four, a lot of better, right? All right, so we also implemented the 2D low pass and high pass filter. I'll show.、You. So the 2D low pass filter is that basically it blurring the original image a little bit. So we use a box、uh, of nine coefficients, which are all ones. So we'll average each box. And for the high pass filter, you can see、um, this helps you to detect edges because edges are often high frequency component of image. And if you emphasize the high frequency part, you will see the edge here, and you can see clearly your fingers and your head. Which looks good. Okay, so that's basically our project. Yeah, and this is the app、uh, we built. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and、uh, hopefully, hopefully, you got a good time in EC420, and good luck on your project. Thank, thank you, you, guys.